trying to find my purpose Cause I feel upside down There's a face in the mirror I think I know I guess I'm starting to see some things That I never thought I would The rain I'm looking away, you're who you are land where all the things you want to feel you are chase that morning close your eyes you want to wake up where there's no goodbyes and all your numbered days with My name is Hannah Martin. Guess what? It's another vlog. Shock surprise. We are going to Sunderland. I don't know if I'm holding my finger over the mic. We will find out in editing. Good luck, future Hannah. I'm feeling a bit tired, but I'm ready and raring to go. We have had a intense morning. I came in two hours early to work after prayer service and did my jump strength. My stretches. I did my jump program set by the lovely Esther. So Esther, if you're watching, I did it. I try and at least do it once a week when we're doing tour. Now I need to get showered and get on the... Oh, why does my camera keep going out of focus? And get on... It did it again, come on. Uh, get on the coach on the way to Sunderland. It's going to be a long coach journey, hence why I was trying to get a lot done. Okay,
just going to have a little look around back to the hotel and get some sleep because I'm exhausted. <laughs> back at the hotel me and Matilda and Amelia went for a little hunt around for like a corner store so we know what options we have available we now know that there are not a lot of options available to us I've got to be honest that was a four hour of coach journey we left at two and arrived around about seven that's five hours but we had like a half an hour stop off traveling is tiring I'm telling you that now I also pushed really hard today this morning so I think I'm just gonna relax in the hotel we don't start till 4 15 tomorrow so I might do some editing and stuff. Wednesday in Sunderland and we don't start work till 4 15 so I did do a little ballet class this morning just to get my body moving I want to work on my point work still so trying to keep that up while being here on tour and now I'm gonna go out and see the seaside with Matilda and Amelia which I'm really excited about yeah I better go because I'm running a bit late and I'm supposed to meet them downstairs like right now such a lovely time in Sunderland got back to the hotel I had some lunch oh my goodness guys if you're in Sunderland go to love lily cafe I wanted to try the pancakes but I thought maybe before class is not such a great idea so getting ready now for class I've just been editing I'm gonna try and just do a little bit of planning for this week because you know how I love to plan so I need to do that just so I can get my brain in gear we, we walked 11,000 steps this morning I hope I'm gonna be okay till 10 p.m tonight because we have rehearsal till 10 p.m keep awake <laughs> that person who asked for a glass of semi skin milk so I can make my hot chocolate in the hotel. The fake milk, the fake milk just doesn't taste nice. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. 
everybody, just got out the hotel and I'm on my way to the theatre. I got up a little bit later today. I'm really trying to conserve my energy for tonight's performance because it is opening night. I got up, had my breakfast, then lay in bed, did some Bible study for an hour, and I did my stretches. A quick uh, point pass. Now we have passed for an hour 15 on stage. I've got to watch the rehearsal. First steps, I'm just having to study for it, so I have to be there and then have the afternoon to rest. So some point shows, I think, while watching rehearsal. Whoa, it's windy. the first steps rehearsal. I'm gonna go back and rest at the hotel. Four o'clock now, our performance of opening night tonight is at half seven. So I had a lovely salad, which was almost like the salad I have at home. I managed to get kind of all the ingredients. Not much more to report than that. I actually really enjoyed class this morning, which was nice. So hopefully just carrying on that trajectory of enjoying life and enjoying being here. Blue skies, it's been quite sunny, been quite warm for the UK. back to the hotel i just had a bath the theaters we've been performing at recently have been a bit bigger so this one's a bit smaller which makes the big dryad scene a little bit more tricky tonight i just did dryads which is nice nice like light night before our double show day tomorrow dryads i have to admit at the beginning made me really nervous there's definitely a right and wrong way of doing it whereas some of the other roles like gypsies or like a mash a little bit more you can put your own like character on it whereas the dryads it's technical but now that i've done it so many times like 19th show i can't remember how many exactly so i feel a lot more comfortable with it i like the challenge okay, tomorrow we have a double show day it's start at 10 40. I still feel a little adrenaline from the show so I'm hoping I can wind myself down so I can get an earlier night have lots of energy for tomorrow morning everybody just your your average morning really double show day let's go
another show is done. I finished today's show off with Flamenco Lady, which is in this lovely dress. I really enjoyed this role. It's a lot of acting again, which is a lot of fun. Um, and now I'm gonna go back to the hotel and rest before one more show tomorrow before we head back to Birmingham. Yeah, I definitely felt a bit tired in that, in that show, having to push through a bit. That's what it's all about. <laughs> final day here in Sunderland just brain got up about half seven had my breakfast did my stretches and I've just been through some of the choreo because I'm doing gypsies today which I haven't done in about a week refreshed my memory one show today and then we're heading back home and we have to do the classic room tour totally forgot let's do it quickly now it's pretty much your generic this bed though I have to say particularly out of all the beds we've slept in these last few weeks this has been the most comfortable 10 out of 10 for the bed and also the temperature in here was better than sulfur because i could regulate it more with this i basically turned it off most of the time and just turned it on to warm it up occasionally pretty little artwork here mugs slightly bigger than sulfur but not by much no mini fridge again which irritates me beyond belief because i can't put my milk in there for my hot chocos nice mirror in here just to check the outfit before going out to work. It's great for doing your makeup in, not that I've actually used it, but yo. Some coat hangers there, which I haven't used. This bath filled really, really quickly, and it's really deep, so 10 out of 10 for the bath. Yeah, you don't, you don't need to see the video. So, nice big TV as well. As good as a view can get from here, you can even see the theater, so. Eight out of 10, it's good. <laughs> show. I've been doing this during the shows recently. Oh, is my camera gonna focus? Rubicon Spring Water Black Cherry Raspberry. Definitely recommend. That's gone for final act. I better get ready. Monday. You just saw me Saturday night slash Sunday morning because I was editing into the night to get the vlog up for you. Make sure if you haven't watched it to go watch that one afterwards. I've like got a whole donkey vlogs which has been like my last four videos. I'm thinking of putting them into like a vlog, vlogumentary. A vlogumentary. Sorry, I've got fruit flies. So I'm trying to, I don't know why I've got fruit flies in my room. It's a bit concerning. I got back from work a while ago. I did a really good gym session. I had some studio time, had a wonderful class. Now I'm about to start winding down for the day. I've just got to pack the last few things because we are leaving for Plymouth tomorrow. Start a new vlog tomorrow to conclude this six week craziness. I hope you enjoyed this Sunderland vlog. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Click the subscribe button and obviously, as we always do, comment this emoji if you made it all the way to the end. Guys, dream big and make it happen.